2003 and an 03 Mercedes SL 500. Push button start, pan, pan roof on this one as well. So in 2003 as well, somebody ticked all the extra buttons, that's for sure, with a half wood wheel. Body width wise, I'm going to start off with the bumper, bumper, start off with the bonnet, work our way around on the interior, go for a cold engine start up, and then I'll show you that lovely metal hard top folding roof going up and down as well. Loving tidy at the bonnet, no dings, no dents, loving straight one or two little stone chips to complain about, but that is all. No complaints, all one shade of silver down the front end there. Headlights are nice and clear on both sides, grills all intact. Loving tidy, no big scuffs or scrapes on the bumper corner itself as you come across the front bumper. There's one or two little dimples where I think the bumper's been painted at some point. A few little stone chip marks underneath the paint there, a little bit of dust on the right hand side. But all very, very presentable across the front end there. As you come round onto that driver's front wing, no corrosion coming around the wing itself. I'll go nice and slow so you can have a good look. All nice and tidy down the front wing. No big scratches, no big dings or dents. Nice and presentable. The nice five-spoke SL500 wheels all the way around as well. Across the lower half of the body kit, the sill section. Lovely and tidy there, no complaints. As we come up the door itself, it's all nice and straight on the door. No scratching around the handle, no big chips out the back edge of the door and no dings or dents, it's lovely and straight down the door itself when we're a cap is crack free on the glass there, indicator looks okay like I say, pan roof on this one, no corrosion in the corners like you normally get lovely and tidy all the way across, really nice and fresh down there as you come onto the rear quarter, a little bit of a colour discrepancy I think it's obviously had some paint with it, it's to be expected nice and tidy, got a tiny little bit of bubble in there but nice and tidy around the arch itself as you come through the back, one or two little blebs just start to come through there. Nice and tidy around the fuel filler cap as well. Lovely and straight down the rear quarter with no dings or dents. Sitting nice and level all the way down that right hand side. Rear bumper itself, again the corner, scuff free, nice and tidy on the corner itself. Rear lights are nice and clear on both sides. As you can see, no scuffs or scrapes across the back bumper on the left hand side either. Lovely and fresh across the whole rear end. As you come onto the boot lid itself again, nice and tidy all the way across the boot lid. No heavy scratching at all there, nice and clean and straight. Coming down the left hand side, it's lovely and straight down the left hand side as well, sitting lovely and level. Around the rear arch, nice and slow there, no corrosion coming through. Got two little blebs right at the corner there, but apart from that, lovely and fresh. Across the rear quarter again, slight colour discrepancy onto the door where it's obviously had some paintwork at some point. But we're lovely and fresh down that left hand side front door. No dings, no dents, no nasty marks, no heavy scratching anywhere on the door itself. Coming forward onto the front wing and again, lovely and fresh on the wing itself, nice and tidy around the arch. No corrosion coming through. Lovely and tidy around the arch on that left hand side, sitting lovely and level this one. Wing wear a cap again, crack free on both sides on the left hand side as we come up onto that roof again no corrosion in the normal places on the corners no complaints across the roof there we're going to come round onto the interior now the dark leather all right driver's front there lovely and tidy on the door card there a little bit of sun wear to the, to the armrest itself a minimal wear to the grab handle no real wear to the window switches heated and memory three-way memory seats on this one there with the light wood seat itself lovely and tidy on the seat a little bit of wear to the stitching but no rips or tears lovely and fresh across the seat that lovely half wood wheel no delamination which is normally a common factor on these across the top there's no cracking to the wheel there lovely and straight no pixels missing out of the dashboard and as you come down the center console it's lovely and tidy all the way down james is the uh, start start working on the gear stick yep. James said the push button start is working and there's no pixels missing from the screen. That lovely pan roof just adding that extra bit of light when the roof's up as well. Into the boot, lovely and tidy in the boot there as well. No complaints at all with that, nice and clean and tidy in the boot. This cover has to be locked in for the roof to work. For it to go up and down. Don't think I've quite shut up with proper there, James. Driver's door, nice, uh, passenger door, sorry, nice and tidy on there. No rips or tears to the door card, no heavy wear. And again, heated memory passenger seat as well. Lovely and tidy up the left-hand side. Bolster there, no rips or tears at all to that. No complaints there. Lovely and tidy from the left-hand side across the dashboard. Onto the engine bay now, let's see, it's the 5 litre V8. 
All nice and tidy now, all the covers are there, nothing missing. All nice and fresh. James got a fire into life for us. Firing straight into life. Ticking over nice and happy. No complaints there. We've never had an SL500 that sounds bad anyway, or, or a 500 MIG or any MIG, really. Right, onto the roof now. Electric folding roof. James is going to show us that. Oh, I haven't closed that. I just said as well on the video. That needs to be shut. I did say that in the video. I said it's going to be shut and I can't even close it. Right, now I have the roof going down now. Nice and smooth, no juddering from the motors or the mechanisms there. All nice and happy. We're going to go down, all nice and tidy there. Once it's down, we're going to go back up as well. Yeah, we'll go back up as well, please. Has it got the ABC suspension as well? It has got the uh, up and down suspension on this one, which we're going to show you working as well. No complaints on how that roof moves. Nice and smooth, back windows coming up. And that rear section locking in as it should. It's finishing its cycle there. James is going to show us the suspension. Oh my God, that's quick. That is quick. And back down. That is, that is really good. Never had one as quick as that. Perfect there. There you have it. The 2003 on an 03 Mercedes SL500 with a pan roof. All the toys on that one, roof working nice, suspension's working perfect. Never seen one as quick as that on the suspension.